Pretty boring, huh? There's nothing on. Yep. A reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Friends to know and ways to grow. A reading rainbow. I can be anything. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Adapted into storybook format by the Rosario Book Club. It was a cold and dreary winter afternoon. At Gateshead, home of the wealthy Reed family, a young girl sat alone reading a book. She was an orphan, and her name was Jane. Jane. I'm your host, Charlie Sandberg, and the competition is fierce. With Tasha dropping out of the competition, we are left with only the literary critics. And they are Bree, Darcy, and Ariel, who will be America's next top reader. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I left the competition. I just have to. I mean, John Rivers wants Jane to marry him and go to India and it's just it's just not right I mean convenience I mean love is like I believe in love and love is not conven about convenience and I feel that love is very important and you can't read I can't read a book that has that clashes so much with what I believe in and I'm just really sorry but I have to go I can't believe I lost the competition. The question was so easy. All it was was to say one theme, in the, or two themes in the book, and all I could think of was one. The only thing that came to my mind was when Jane was stuck in the red room from when her cousin beat her up, and she, it, was, it was a red room, and the ghost came in and gave her a symbol of hope. So the theme that I gave was that something bad happens but some hope is soon to follow. And I had to give another example of that and I couldn't even think of it. But there are so many times in the world that it happens. I let myself down. It's like for my broken heart. Oh my gosh. 
honestly, I don't think Bree's ready for this competition because she could even remember another example of the theme. I mean, come on. Another good example would have been Mr. Rochester getting his eyesight back and could only see the candles. I mean, the candles were like his symbol of hope. Another good reason. Another good example. Anyways. Yeah, this is all I have to say. Leaving was probably the lamest thing I've ever heard of. I mean, come on, it's a book. This is a competition for America's next top reader. If she can't handle a story like that, just what is that? How'd she even get into this competition in the first place? So, so what? St. John Rivers, ooh, he asked Jane to marry her, him, and so it, it's not about love. What's love anyway? There's no point. This is a book, and this is a competition, and I'm here to be the best. Changing the channel. Jeez. because the pictures were very colorful and it was a good artist yeah it was a good artist and, and I like the drawings and I like the story because I like Jane Eyre I liked the book it was just it made me almost cry when, you, when she was reading it I was so sad by her auntie and it, it really hurt inside but it was a very happy ending <laughs> I really liked it <laughs> sad at first because she had a horrible time living in the house with her cousins and a really really mean auntie but before she left to go to Lowood, she stood up to her auntie and it took a lot of courage to tell her auntie that she didn't love her and that she would never have respect for her. And that's why I like Jane Eyre because she was a very courageous character. <laughs> I like Jane Eyre because it's about love. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> Apple. Wow, that was fun and educational. Yeah. I want to know the end of the story, though. So I missed that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. So that kind of looks like you. What did you just say to my face? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the library.